All this month at Appalachian Wireless, get the only truly water-resistant Android smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S7, for just $99.99, and get a second one free. While supplies last, service agreement is required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. After barricading himself in his home for several hours, Jamie Neal Sykes was arrested by police in Buchanan County, Virginia, for allegedly shooting his wife, Teresa Sykes, and her parents, David and Glenna Robbins. Police from several agencies responded, including Virginia State Police Troopers, VSP's SWAT team, and officers and deputies with the Buchanan County Sheriff's Office. Sykes was arrested around noon without further incident. The suspect came out peacefully and was taken into custody peacefully. There were no injuries associated with the arrest. Right now, the residence here at 1449 Hill Ridge Road is still an active crime scene, and uh, the investigation continues. The shooting allegedly occurred during the course of a domestic dispute at the Robbins Clintwood residence, just a short distance from Sykes' home. One of the victims was flown out, while the other two were transported by ambulance to an area hospital. Sykes eventually surrendered to police following a series of negotiations. It appears to be a domestic situation at this time. It's under investigation by the Dickinson County Sheriff's Office. They're being aided in the investigation by the Virginia State Police. Bureau of Criminal Investigation. Um, to bring this to a resolution, the Dickinson County Sheriff's Office opened the line of communication by telephone with the shooter. They were able to negotiate with him and have him agree to come out. The 4th Division Tactical Team responded to the residence at 1449 Hill Ridge here in Clintwood. Police found numerous firearms around the residence and in Sykes' vehicle, so it remains in question what type of weapon he allegedly used in the shooting. There were multiple weapons found in the vehicle as well as around the residence, so at this time it's not, it has not been determined if there was only one weapon used or multiple weapons used. The conditions of Teresa Sykes and her parents were not available. Reporting in Clintwood for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.